What's going on guys? Vic BP back with the Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, I'm going to show you how to get Battle Toads to work on your arcade sticks. So as I always say in my videos, PC games always being updated non-stop. Brand new game, Battle Toads. I'm going to call it Battle Toads 2020. It is basically a remaster of an old school arcade game that a lot of people do know. Me personally, I never really played it. I played a little bit of it with my wife, but I never finished it. But it got a remaster. We got to give it some love. And obviously, we want to play it with our arcade sticks. Yes, this is designed for an Xbox controller, but we retroheads, we want to play with arcade sticks. Let's be real. First way I'm going to start is I'm going to basically just show you some gameplay using the arcade sticks. And then I'm going to show you how to get this game to work with your arcade sticks. Big thing about this, I do have a bar top, traditional bar top, two player arcade sticks, six button layout, and then your coin and your start is eight buttons if you think about it. This game is a five button game, so you can make it work with the six button layout. It's A-OK. -okay. Um, you do need a start button, so again, figure that your six button could be start if you don't have the eight. Um, so basically, again, two players on this and third player activated with the Xbox controller. Let's just get into some gameplay real quick just to show you that it works. Using the arcade stick, other hand is free. Player one start using the joystick. So, got player one. Pressing player two start brings up player two. And the third Xbox controller, player three. So, we are going to go on A, go on A, press player one start. And just going to, again, just going to show you a little bit. Really cool. Um, again, we all want to play these old school retro arcade games with the joysticks. Unfortunately, you can't use Xbox 360 CE. I use that all the time, and it just didn't work for this game. For some reason, it just wouldn't work, but I found a way to get it to work. I'll pump the volume real quick. Again, player one. So down, left, right, up. Five button game. So button one, button two, button three is nothing. That's my left button. Button four, button five. And button six is evade or run. So as you can see, I'm running. There we go. So player one is good. Player two, good to go. And player three with the Xbox controller, good to go. Speed up some bad guys real quick. So player one, again, using the arcade stick. That's the Y button. Jump. Now, real quick, just to let you guys know how I have my button set up, it's just like an Xbox controller, okay? If you're looking at a controller, you got the X button, that's button one. Y button is button two. Depending on the game, left button or left trigger is button three. Button four is button A. Button B is button five. And again, depending on the game, button six is either left button or uh, right button or right trigger, I should say. So button six right button or right trigger for example in this game as you can see there is actually right trigger is evade and revive is right button rb so you do actually need six buttons but i do believe that the right trigger also revived people so you might not need all six buttons but there you have it so that's how i have the arcade stick set up so if i press player one start i'm gonna go to player two I'm actually going to get somebody to be downed. Let's just get one of our guys down, maybe player three. Very cool game. Button masher. So I'm going to go now revive, pressing the left button. Oh, I'm using the wrong stick. <laughs> I am using the wrong button. I'm pressing button four. Button three. No. Oh, I lost it again. Let me reload. I'm sorry. <laughs> I totally failed on that. I should have done player one to revive. Let's do it again. I'm so sorry. So again, we got player two. I'm going to let player two die out. Going to run around. So evade button six, evade. So that's right trigger. Come on. Good. He's down. So if I do button six, 
I'm reviving. So button six, as you can see, I have it as right trigger, but revive was right button. So it it did it did the same apparently. So as you can see, I'll do it again real quick. We'll let player one kind of player one, yeah, player one. Rash, that's not player one, that's player three. I'm gonna hit button six. And I bought him back up. So as you can see, we are A-OK. -okay. And that's it. There you have it. Again, some old school arcade button mashing right now. Like legit going crazy off the buttons right now. <laughs> that's enough. Player one start. Using the arcade stick again to navigate player one. Gonna quit the game. And let me show you guys how to get this done. Now again, the big kind of downside to this is that normally I do use Xbox 360 CE for all my games. This game just wouldn't work. I had to do a different program. It is called X Output. Um, so let's start with the basics. I'm going to turn off this way we don't have it. Um, I'm going to put these links down in the description below. You do need both of these. Um, the first one I downloaded was this X Output V.11. Downloaded it. I already have it on my download, so I could show you real quick. Uh, you get it, you extract it to its own folder. It's going to look just like this. The big thing about this V.11 is that it has this SCP driver. You do need this. You do need to install this to make it work. Double click on it. You're going to double click on SCP. And basically here, you're just going to press install. Once you press install, it's just going to say install succeeded. And you're all set and ready to go. This X output apparently is an outdated X output. It's old. It's, it, it doesn't even work. So you're going to go into the second link, which is here, which is X output 3.28. When you do download that, it's going to have this in here. Actually, it's, it's not going to have this SCP driver. This is what it's going to look like. Nope, wrong one. Sorry. It's going to have just this X output EXE in it. So this X output EXE um, basically, inside of this here, you're going to paste it into here. So basically, when you extract it, you're going to literally take this X output and you could just paste it inside of here. Let it overwrite, and now you will have the right one. As you can see, the thing that was confusing me is that the icon didn't change. Um, so basically, what I did is that I took these files that were here, just like this. I literally copied this. And then I brought it into the regular X output. I just did it like that. I'm not going to save it because I have my settings saved. So as you can see now, you see this X with the gray circle on it. That's the one you want. So probably better off just, you know, taking it and then putting it into X output. Take it from V.11. Take all these files, excluding the application. Copy it or cut it and then paste it into here. Now, me, whenever I do these, same thing with Xbox 360 CE, I literally take this whole entire folder, this whole thing, and I will copy it and put it directly into my game folder. As you can see, you can see my X output. You can see the settings, Jason. I paste it. I don't paste the folder. I paste the contents of the folder in this. Why? I don't know. If you know Xbox 360 CE, that's how it works. You need the actual program in the file directory. So that's how I have it. You're going to press X output, and you're going to hear the Windows chime. If you don't hear the Windows chime, that means you did not install the driver. You did not put that SCP thing in it. So make sure you hear that. Once you have it, basically this won't be here. This is going to be empty, these game controllers. But you're going to see your, your controllers up here. So I use my Zinmos. So if I move around player one, you can see that. If I move around player two, you can see that. I have my Xbox controller on. So if I scroll down, you can see my controller here. So here's going to be blank. You're going to press add controller. And when you do press add controller, you're going to press edit. And you're going to go down the list. Uh, I'll basically real quick, just for you guys, I will remove player one. Right? That's player one. I'm not going to remove it, actually, no, because this is a, a hard one. Uh, basically, I'm going to go into player one. And the big thing to suggest here as far as the axis, this is where it gets kind of annoying. You're going to press configure. This is going to be blank. You're going to press configure. You can see what it is here. X axis is left and right. So as you can see, do what it says there. You have to go left. You have to go right. As you can see, this 100, it went from 50 to 100. You're going to go up and down on the next one. So up and down. 
So again, you're going to want to make sure that you do that. And when you do press save, just give it a toggle. Make sure it worked. Um, big thing here, like you can see here, look at this. Left trigger is set to a mouse button. That's not right. This actually should be, and I have it set up as button three. And press save. So you have to be very careful. The way that happened basically is I probably went, pressed button three, and then I accidentally didn't press save. I probably clicked underneath it. And as you can see, it switched to left mouse button. So there you go. So if you look real carefully on mine, left trigger and left button are the same buttons. So if I do, you can see that. Look at that L1, the L1 green button is active, and the L2 line is active. So I have it set like that. This game worked with it. Why not do it? Screw it. D-pad up and down. I do have it set up with the joysticks. I just had it set like that. I don't think it makes a difference, but I have it set like that. Now, here's where your buttons are. So again, A button is button 4 on my arcade stick. B button, button 5. X button, button 1. Y, and so on. Start and back. As you can see, I could do it. Big thing is that you do want to make sure, just double check it before you, you know, continue on. Make sure all of your inputs work and such. Okay. Once you do that, you press X. And the big thing you're going to do is you're going to do save configuration. Let's bring in player two. You're going to press add controller. Same thing. Okay. Once you're done, press save configuration. You could exit out and just bring it back up just to be safe. Again, when you do start it, you hear it, it chimes. Okay. As you can see right now, it does activate my two controllers, which are my Zen modes. For this game, if you are going to use the Xbox controllers and the arcade sticks, you must press start for the Xbox controller. Now the Xbox controller is active. If you want to play with the Xbox controller and you didn't turn it on, this Xbox controller confuses the hell out of player one. So if you're going to do the same exact setup that I have here for Eugene, one and two arcade sticks and one Xbox controller, you're going to want to make sure that you press start on that. So as you can see right now, I have three controllers started. Now, you must leave this program open and you're just going to launch Battletoads. That's really it. It's just like, it, well, it's not really like Xbox 360 CE where it automatically starts, but you do need to keep that program launched. Now with that, as you can see that, Having this game set up in hyperspin is a little bit of a nightmare. Um, with the driver being active and joy to key, it pushes my arcade sticks to players like six and seven. So it's a little finicking. But as you can see right now, I'm able to press start and I'm able to game on. So I'm actually going to leave player one. I'm going to select. And as you can see, like I said before, I forgot, I did this like yesterday, but basically I had left button and left trigger assigned to the same button. You could do that. It doesn't hurt. And as you can see, the revive and the, what is it? Revive and evade is basically the same button. I have it. Aim is left trigger. When you're going to need that, I'm not too sure. Oh, look at that now. Real quick, I would remove remove the D-pad. Because as you can see at the top, I didn't know that. It's a tag in. Remove the D-pad. Do not have the D-pad set. Because as you can see, anytime I move, I am activating a tag. And we don't want that. That's something that we definitely do not want. Right? This is down. Okay, how do I bring in... Zits. I can't bring in zits. I'm right now going to... Well, now there's a hard thing now. If you did want to do tag team and you wanted to change characters, one player, you ran into an issue right now. It's a big issue on that one. So, again, I didn't realize that. I'm going to look kind of stupid, but whatever. At least you guys kind of get the gimmick of it. Um, as you can see with a D-pad, if you had extra buttons, you could probably set up the D-pad. So right now, before this does go out to Eugene, I'm going to edit... And I'm going to just disable my D-pad. That's it. Everything else here is good. 
Again, you want to make sure that your controller is here. I'm going to press save. I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to disable this. Disable, disable, disable. Taking a look real quick. Zinmo is good. I'm going to exit out. Save. Start, start, start. That's if I wanted to do three players. Let's relaunch again. Using the A button, I could skip this. I kind of look stupid right now with that D-pad thing. My bad. But I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. So let's rock. Let's try it again. And let's make sure basically we shouldn't have that whole tag teaming thing going on. Now you might want to use a controller because you want to change your character. But you get what you get. And you could always, you know, change it. Like, for example, this here, my player one really has six buttons on the arcade sticks. Coin and start is eight and the four face buttons. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 buttons on player one. So I could really assign the other buttons. You know, I could do like the escape button if I want or the load button as a tag in. So as you can see right now, I'm moving around. I'm not switching. I'm not tagging in people like you saw me before. So that's it, guys. There you have it. Battletoads on the arcade sticks.